Hi, my name is Dave, and today we're going to talk about selecting a beginner telescope. Forgive me if I turn into a, an old astronomy professor and start to lecture you a little bit. Uh, there is some important information that you need to understand here before you go out and rush out and buy a, a beginner telescope. Fundamental things about telescopes. The most important thing about any telescope is something we call aperture. Aperture is the size of the front opening here. How big is that in the diameter, uh, the diameter of that thing? And you want to think of a telescope as being a sort of a light funnel. Now suppose I have two light funnels like this, and I want to look up and I want to collect light from outer space, which is very far away and it's very dim usually. Um, so if you want to collect as much light as possible, which of these funnels are you going to select? Do you want the long skinny funnel or the big fat short funnel? Well, obviously you want the big fat short funnel because it collects more of the faint light coming from the distant stars. So you want a short, fat, bigger opening kind of a telescope. The telescopes that I have here, these are two different kinds of telescopes. This is a refractor and this is a reflector. This has an opening and the light goes in the front, bounces off a mirror in the back, comes to another mirror up here and bounces out. That's a Newtonian reflector. This is a refractor. This is what most people think of it when they think of telescope. The light comes in the front goes all the way down and there's an eyepiece back here and you look through that way. It turns out that generally speaking in beginner telescopes there are a lot of these for sale and they sell because people think this is what they're supposed to look like and these are absolutely the worst possible thing you can buy. These are, uh, the, the optics are okay, the optics work fine, but they're small. It doesn't have a big uh, opening so you don't gather very much light it's long and it's skinny and it's on a wobbly mount that mount is terrible when you're looking at something and you magnify it and you magnify what seems to be a little wobble it turns into be impossible uh, an impossible thing to look through uh, a smaller shorter fatter funnel like this one is better it's more stable this mount may not look real pretty, but it's very stable. You put this on a stable platform of some sort, or even on the ground, and you've got a nice stable mount that will hold steady when you look at things. You've also got more aperture. There's another factor here. It turns out that the bigger the aperture, the bigger that front opening, it also gives you a sharper image. Here are two images. Here's one image that's fuzzy and and not very sharp. And here's another image that is much sharper. You get a sharper image with a bigger telescope. Bigger telescopes are always better telescopes. Uh, all things else being equal, assuming the optics are good. There are a couple of things to watch out for. You want to watch out for avoid shaky mounts like this. Uh, avoid Advertisements that say super high power, 600 power, 475, those are going to be trashy telescopes every time. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, it's very much to your advantage to have one that will show you a lower power view. Very often, a lower power view is a much more satisfying view, and with at least a little bit of power, you can see a lot of detail. So uh, you don't need huge amounts of power to see far away. You're not going to see any farther. This telescope will show you something uh, in a larger image, but it won't be a sharp image and you won't be able to see any because it'll be shaky. So this is your better telescope, something short and fat like this. Now in terms of the optics, these things sometimes come with spherical optics and the technical difference between a spherical and a parabolic mirror are uh, hard to explain, but basically the shape of that mirror, ever so exquisite shape of that mirror in the back of the telescope, needs to be a parabola, a parabolic mirror, for it to work best. 
cheaper versions of these telescopes, telescopes that look almost identical to this, are spherical and they don't have good sharp images. Their images are blurry and fuzzy. You need to spend a few extra dollars and get one with a parabolic mirror, at least if you're buying anything in a decent size. This is a four inch telescope. This is about the minimum size I would recommend for a beginner. There are smaller ones and stuff. You, you don't want them. Just don't mess with them. Get a pair of binoculars. If you want something small and convenient and something that will uh, actually be a great thing to have around the house anyway for general purpose, a pair of binoculars is ideal. If you're going to get a telescope, get something decent. Get something in a 4-inch Newtonian reflector like this. You can get this one for about $130, $150. Uh, and that, this is what I would recommend. I've got a whole video about my favorite telescopes, my best uh, beginner telescopes in a price prices all the way up to 400 bucks. So I hope this has been helpful in making your selection of a beginner telescope. Thank you for watching.